what I have here today, July 30th, 2012, is a contribution to the cause from Mike. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I haven't gonna... Well, in the previous video, I uh, installed the roller jewel that fell out, or was missing. It fell out, and then it went missing, so... And now I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna clean and oil this one, so I have to take it apart. Uh, model 1892, Waltham Watch. So let's get the show on the road, as they say. So what am I going to do first? Oh, I'm going to have to, uh, since it's running still, I'm going to have to let down the, uh, uh, screw back. I'm going to have to let down the mainspring. So, let's see. Oh, I can zoom in now. How's that? That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to use this tool. Ah, let down the mainspring. Uh, hold the stem. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Uh, give it a little wind. Hold back the click. And carefully let the crown go back. Oh, I think I got a system now. Yeah, I got a system. You don't want to let it slip out of your fingers because then you'll probably break something. Because this mainspring's got a lot of power in it. I can take a rest. And, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. This puppy's exhausted. I expended it. Uh, okay. What am I going to do next? So I'm going to take the hands off next. Oh, I should have loosened this up previously. Oh, man. Okay. So, hands... Well, let me put the hands in a more hand removal friendly position. Let's try it there. Uh, I didn't take out the dial protector. And at least I got the hand puller. Whoops, out of the package. Yay! Oh, container. Where's my container? Ah, it's sticking to it. This is my container. Uh, tweezers. Let's see. Ah. I'm going to get this off. Second hand. Hey, that's off. Put that away. Hand puller is done, so I'm going to have to put that back in its package and get it the heck out of my way. Out of my way. Great. Okay. Now I go back to this side and take the movement out of the case. See, we got two screws. We got a half head over here, it looks like. Oops, and we got a full head over here. And we'll put that with the hands. And the movement comes right out. And it has no dust shield, so I don't worry about that. Uh, let me see. I'm going to get this out of the way. Case is out of my way. Uh, now I guess I've put it in the... Uh, well, well, let's see. 
Uh, hmm. I guess I'll take the uh, the balance off. I'll take the balance off before I screw that up. That's what they say. The first thing you should take off is the balance. Now where's the screw? It's, I can barely see it. Maybe it's best if I held it in my hand. Okay. The screw to hold the hairspring stud. I loosen it. I don't take it out all the way because it's a pain in the neck to put back in. And then to verify that it's loose. And now I got the movement holder. Where's the second hand? I don't want to... I'll have to back off for just a little bit. I guess that's good. Uh, take off the balance cock. One of these days, you know, people tell me, yeah, once you glue something on here, yeah, one of these days I'll glue something on the movement holder to, uh, so I, not, so I can tighten it good and not worry about uh, damaging anything. But that day has yet to come. Soon. Soon. I'm thinking about what to use. I got some silicon sealant. I know I can put that on. That'll be nice and spongy. Uh, we'll get another container now. Where did I put that second hand? Oh, there it is. Good. I'm going to put that in there. And then I always like to separate it. I don't like pinching my balance between the with the balance cock with the tweezers. You can do it, but I just don't feel comfortable doing that. So I do it this way for now. I guess when I f screw something up, then I'll change. But currently, I I'm doing it this way. You can do it whatever way you want. I don't care. And now we take the balance off with the... Ooh. Well, you probably can't see it because it won't focus in there with the uh, roller jewel I installed. So I put that in a uh, container. Okay. So that's the most delicate part is out there, basically. So now I can take the dial off. Let's take the dial off. This one's got screws. Probably three screws. Uh, do I have a small enough screwdriver? I get a smaller screwdriver for this. So there's three screws. There's one here. I'm not taking these out all the way either. Because uh, I'll probably lose them. And there's the second one. Sometimes you get these watches and they're missing screws. This one appears to have all of them. That's nice. Ugh, oh, frig. Sometimes they're stripped. Because people, I don't know what they think. I mean, it's not like this stuff is going to go any place. And now I take off the... Uh, the dial. I'm going to put this down. There it is, your dial. It is a double sunk dial. A true self double sunk dial because you can see the uh, two pieces here. I'm missing some solder. wonder where that went. Maybe it's in the movement. Oh, look at that. That's bent down. Yeah, someone smashed this dial in there and bent the leg to the side. I'll be a son of a bitch. And it fit, too. It fit. Where's the second? Which one is that one? That one's this hole. It actually fit. Wow. Don't blame that on me. See? That's, that's bent down. I took it off. I didn't push it in yet, so... I'm not going to move that because it'll break right off. That's all I can say. It'll break right off. And to solder it on, eh. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, well. It's too bad. Someone was careless. Let me put this away. Where can I put this dial? 
I'll put it in the uh, the bezel. What a shame. Oh, well, I'm here. This is gonna fall off on me. Well, I got to get another container now. Oh wait, I'll put that with the hand. So you got your little washer thing and then your hour wheel. I wonder why it doesn't want to come up. Why doesn't it want to come up? Oh crap. Why doesn't it come off? Hmm. That's odd. I never had one fight like that before. I don't know why. Well, you never know what you're going to find with these watches. And this minute wheel is going to stay on, so we'll leave it on. <sighs> okay. Now we... I don't want to damage the second hand. Where is it? There it is. Now we'll continue on our journey. Oh, I'm going to put these dial screws... I'm going to screw them back in. Just in case. You never know, they might fall out and then i got to find them. So I'm going to put them in a little bit. So I, and where's the second hand again? There's a second hand. I don't want to damage it. Second hand pinion. Okay, so let's continue on our journey. Mm, I guess I'll take this off. Oh, yeah. It looks like it has a... Uh, uh, some sort of washer deal. I see these on some of the watches. Excuse me. I guess this is the ratchet wheel. It's got a lot of oil underneath it. Someone sprayed this puppy with WD-40 or something. Because you can smell it and you can just see all the excess lube. And I'll have to take this off too. Wait. Oh, yeah. Usually that turns the other way. Whoops. I wonder if I can... I don't know. These screws are the same. And another... Uh, it's like another cover. I use my pen. This one I won't mix up with the other one. And does this come off? Yes, yes it does. Or does it? I took one of these apart once years ago. But I don't remember. I didn't do a video back then, so didn't have a camera. So I guess I'm going to do that for now. I don't remember what's under here. The clicky stuff. And uh, now we go for the barrel bridge. Oh yeah! The screws are tight. There's always going to be some screws that are going to give you grief. Let's get a bigger screwdriver. Oh yeah, got it. And the 
this appears to be three screws. Oh yeah, that one's tight too. Whoops, I hate when that happens. I had to take this screw out, the case screw, because uh, otherwise I won't be able to get this bridge off. Where did I put those? I don't remember. And the last screw. <sighs> okay, I got a container. I need to take the screws out. Let's see. And there is your barrel bridge. Yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see from the reflection, but there's a, like soaked in something. The whole thing is soaked. Oh well. At least it's looped. And there is your winding and setting stuff. I'll have to take that out before it falls out. Do I remember how to do that? I thought it would lift right out, but like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while, so don't worry. I how they had this is brass. Okay, now we're going to take off the rest of the other bridge. Ah, oh, how many screws for that? I only see two. Oh, yeah, one. I'm going slow so I don't let my screwdriver slip out and scratch the movement. And there's the other one. Oh, these weren't this tight. Only two? Interesting. I figured there'd be more. We got another container. One. Two. Okay, let's see what happens when I lift this up. Yeah, see I pulled it a little bit to to the right because of the pallet fork, wherever that is. Where'd the pallet fork go? What happened to the pallet fork? Oh, you can want to look underneath this. Uh, I'm looking underneath this piece and yeah, I see a lot of oil. I have, everything's oil. The whole surface is oil. Cool. The number match there? What's that number? 5184 something? I don't know. Put that there. Yeah, number matches. Now what happened to the pallet fork? There it is. It fell. So, for effect... I'm gonna see if I can... Uh, no, it won't stay. That's why it fell right through this hole. So, forget about it. No effects. Anyway, there's your train. Pallet fork ain't staying where it is. So... Yeah, even all these wheels are covered in oil. <laughs> Puppy's lubed up real good. Uh, so, there's your train, uh, main front barrel, center wheel, third wheel, fourth wheel, escape wheel, and your whatever. So, let me, uh, take out the train. Oh, I gotta remove the cannon pinion. I always forget something. Uh, 
אוקיי, פליאה. And this is for the second hand. He's got that extra long pinion. Let's see if I can... Well, I can, can I get the main spring barrel out or do I have to take off the cannon pinion? Well, now I can slide it out, of course. This is one of these... I think it's called a motor barrel or something. It's something different than the... Because the barrel cover is not snapped on. I took, I replaced the mainspring on one of these things once. Like I said, I have another one, 1892, and it was really different. It's like this uh, barrel arbor is attached to the uh, the top cover here. See, there's nothing no cover on the bottom. So. When you pull off this brass part, that also the barrel arrow comes out and then the mainspring comes out too. It was a real pain in the ass to, to install a mainspring in this. I don't know, maybe I did something not quite right because uh, I'm still learning. So, But anyway, let me dump that in there. <sighs> I don't know how this comes off. I forget. It's been a while. So I'm going to take the cannon pinion off. Probably something to do with this screw. Uh, let's see if this thing will slide off or i got to get my uh, pliers. No, i got to get my pliers. I always forget something. I'll be right back. Oh, crap. Trying to get the pliers. Trying to get the pliers. Got the pliers, got the pliers, got the pliers. Okay, I got the pliers. Uh, these are smooth face, so I'm not gouging anything. One of these days I'll have to get the cannon pinion puller. One of these days. So, let's see. Oh, wow, that's... That's tight. Of course, the center wheel fell through because there's nothing holding it up. Let me put that in the container. Uh, see what else I can take off. Maybe a nice pattern on this. Uh, I got another container. Good. Let's see if I can get this, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I take this screw out. Oh, man. Gotcha. Oh, I don't like that. I'm turning it. And nothing's happening. That was it. So that's why uh, I couldn't get it out because the uh, it's screwed on. I think what they call that piece. Whatever the piece is, it's screwed on. I don't remember the name. And where'd the screw go? Here. I'm gonna take this before I lose it. And let's see what else we got. Now we got the, uh, what's that? The minute wheel, I guess. Hmm, that's worn. Why is that's not? It doesn't look like this. Oh yeah, there's oil on that too. Uh, we got this winding and we got the lever set stuff. Let's see what that looks like. Huh, look at that. 
Well, I'm going to take that off later because um, I don't know if I chewed up enough of your time. Uh, I think that's it. Huh, these two jewels are screwed in. And that's on this side. Uh, that's basically it. I'll have to take off that lever crap later. Maybe I'll take that off now. Let's see. <laughs> it looks like a pain in the ass. I'm going to take it off later. Uh, I think that's it. So now I'm going to clean and oil it and then put it back together. It's got a nice coating of stuff. So let's see if we can do a group shot. And call it a day. i got to raise this camera. Group shot. Ah, group shot. Wait, I can rotate it this way so that you don't care about that. So all the different pieces. Uh, what? I can't get uh, everything in. Okay, there's a case and dial. Let me put that here. And here's the case. And you see it in the corner there. So there it is, uh, Waltham model 1892, 18 size pocket watch, disassembled. So hope you enjoyed the uh, show. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the rest of your day. This seems to have gone rather smoothly, which surprises me.